Hey, what is up guys, it's Arnek and welcome to this week's video. I'm quite excited about this one today, because the function I'm showing you is one I just recently stumbled upon by accident really, while working on one of my recent client jobs. And that function is from roll beat master properties. If you know about those already, well, good for you. Don't judge me. And if you don't, mark this one down, because it will change your workflow completely and blow your mind. Maybe. Hopefully. Let's see. <laughs> but before we hop into After Effects, make sure you're subscribed and turn on the notifications to step-by-step -step up your filmmaking and animation game with every video. But enough with the token. Roll the intro. First of all, let's talk about what master properties actually are. Simply put, they are properties of certain elements inside of a composition, which you then can change in a composition higher up in the hierarchy. Well, sounds great so far, but what does that mean for us in a more practical way? For that, let's take a look at this example. This animation is the result of my previous video on the thick stroke effect. It's a really great tool to have, so head over there and learn everything you need to know about it. What I did in this example, compared to the video mentioned, is that I set up a 4 color gradient, where I only set the first color specifically, and the other three change depending on that first color. Originally, I wanted to include the expression process behind it in this video as well, but honestly, that wouldn't help understanding the functionality of the master property function at all, so I decided to cut that and make a dedicated video to really dive into the expression, as it does require some level of knowledge about how the HSR color space works, which I could not and would not want to take for granted. But now, back to our setup at hand. In order to use master properties, we have to pre-compose our animation, so highlight all the layers necessary and hit Ctrl or Command plus shift and C, and name it accordingly. Move all attributes, open up the new composition and click OK. To set up master properties, you need the Essential Graphics panel. If you can't see the panel, head over to Window and activate Essential Graphics here. Now all you have to do is navigate to whatever setting you want to be able to adjust. So in our case, that is the color value of the thick stroke layer. So you could do that by clicking deeper and deeper into the layer settings, but that can get quite annoying. So instead, I highlight the layer, go into the search bar up here and simply type whatever I'm looking for. So in our case it's color. And there you have all the elements within that layer that regard color. Now we know that all of these colors depend on the first, so we can simply click and hold color A and drop it into the essential graphics panel. Maybe rename the option in case you will have more options later on. If we go back into our main comp, we now have an additional section in the layer settings. The master properties. Now you can simply change your settings right within the main comp, without having to dive into the original composition every time. And you can even keyframe and animate those settings. And why is that of advantage? Well, let's reset these alterations and assume we do not have those options at hand and say we want a second version of the same animation. Well, sure, duplicate it with Ctrl Command D, move them apart so we can see a little more. Now go and change the colors of the right version only. No problem, right? Go into the right composition, change the value around and... Uh, wait, yeah, right. It is still the same composition, so all changes automatically update for all of them. Well, then how about duplicating the composition inside the project library? That will give us a separate composition to work with, right? Well, yeah, but imagining having 10, 20 or even more of those separate compositions and now you have to change something about the base animation. Do you really want to go through all of these individually and make the changes? Exactly. But using the master properties, you can change whatever you want on another level, without changing everything within the original composition. And the best thing is, this works with basically everything. Let's go back into the thick comp and add a text in the center. However, this text also should be editable. Simply navigate to the source text property and drag it into the essential graphics panel. And also add rotation to it, because why the heck not? Heading back into the main comp and you'll notice that these settings are automatically added to the master properties. 
To change the source text, you have to Alt or Option click the stopwatch and type whichever text you want to appear inside quotation marks. So expressions are available for these master properties as well. And another little handy trick are these two icons. With those you can either push your modifications done into the parent com and that way override the original value for all instances of the composition. Or on the other hand pull the settings to reset this specific value or all of them. One more thing I'd like to show you is how to use master properties across multi-level compositions. With this example from another of my previous videos, we find ourselves in the main com, with the composition text repeat inside. Within that, there is another composition and only inside that there is the text layer. Dragging the source text into the essential graphics will create master property settings, yeah. However, initially they will appear on the layer itself. And as in this case, not at the spot we want and need to be able to change it. But as you may have guessed, we can of course make it work properly. Go back into the text comp, where you only have your text layer, and let's reset what we have put into the essential graphics panel. In the drop down here, select the composition where you want the master properties to show up. So in our case, that will be text repeat. Select it and now drag the source text in there again. This time, when we go back, we do see the master properties where we want them. And the composition in between is simply ignored without losing its influence on the design. So After Effects, thank you very much for this. Now isn't this great? Obviously the capabilities of this function go way beyond of what I showed you today. But even just for this, I'm so stoked to have found it. And I'm pretty sure it will change my as well as your workflow in one way or the other. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you aren't already and ring that bell to be notified about future videos. On that note, also check out my previous video on how to use the essential graphics panel to create your very own motion graphic templates. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!